Well, hey, hey, everybody. Monkey Puzzle here, and it's time for another episode of whatever series this is anymore. I don't know what to call it. I mean, we're on Aberration at the moment, but I plan to go both to Ragnarok and to the island today. So I guess we're just going to call this a new series, the Iron Mine Arc Cluster or something like that. And all the other series stop or they get combined or what <laughs> i don't know but we're clustered now and so the main thing i want to do today even though i'm starting here on aberration is i want to get a foothold on the island we have our fresh map of the island that people have done a little bit on but not much at all it's only been a couple days now and I'm learning all about the logistics of working on a clustered server, about how proximity to the obelisks actually makes a big difference right now. Uh, real quick, before we go on our journey of setting up, basically I want to set up a community center near the green obelisk today. That's my goal. Some folks have already started one near the red obelisk, and we'll need one at each. I'll need one at the blue one, too. Maybe I should even do that one first. I don't know. <laughs> but before we leave here, let me just show you a couple things. I talked about how I was making the Meganauts 2.0. I've shown you guys the Meganauts and how we've destroyed Reapers with them, and I also used them down in the Drake Trench. I got a bunch living down there that never can leave, even if I wanted them to. But uh, Rimtus let me borrow these two. They're so lovingly lovingly named Waste of Space 1, <laughs> Waste, of Space, <laughs> Waste of Space 4. But what distinguishes these is they mated with a, or were born from a 180 male that had high health, uh, I think like 11,000. And when you get the imprint, 100% imprint on that, it turns out to be... 13,933 health, but the rest of the stats were not terrible. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, that's one, um, but not as good as my actual Meganaut. So I made a little breeding project of combining them, and I have got it done pretty much. I need to get a female, but I've got two males so far, this one and this one that both capture all of the stats I want. So it has the 13.9k health, it's got the 17.10 stamina, and the 466 melee damage, which were all uh, the hallmarks of the Meganauts. So these are the Meganauts 2.0, and I even managed to capture it in the red color. So these guys are awesome. That one has not been leveled at all, none of these have. And this is the female version of all of those stats, but in green. So right now, these red males are mating with her, because the stats will stay the same. And I just need to get another female in red, and then that will be the Mega Daddy, Mega Mama 2.0 of the Meganauts 2.0. And they're going to be coming out red and high health and amazing. So I've been doing that. I also wanted to show off this thing. Look, it's a trough. <laughs> but check it out. It says powered there. Tavern's trough. So this is another mod, a quality of life mod we've added on all three servers of the cluster because it is what people have wanted forever and wildcard. Makes you go all the way to the tech tier to get. Even though we have refrigerators, um, you can't get a refrigerated trough to save your life or at least to save the lives of your pets, <laughs> of, your, of your tames. But because it's so hard to keep things fed on all these different servers as we're jumping around, we just gave this to ourselves so that we can keep things alive when we're not at one place all the time. So it helps a lot. It allows people to play all over the place. But basically, this is refrigerated. So it's the normal trough, normal number of slots, normal range, except look here, this one, I mean, it's partly spoiled, but it's got 13 hours left on it so it's the f same as refrigerating things you can even double it use it as a refrigerator so it's great i can leave this here and know that that stuff will last long enough for these guys to eat it and i'm slowly converting all my troughs all over the servers to tavern's trough it does have to be powered so there's an outlet hiding over here somewhere that's powering it and you got to keep you know gas in your generator 
and all that goes along with things being powered. And it's pretty balanced too because the ingredients to make this are pretty much the same ingredients as making a refrigerator. So, you know, it's basically as expensive as a refrigerator. A little bit more wood than metal, but it's got the electronics and all the other stuff in it. But it's refrigerated. Anyway, I got to get myself over to Ragnarok um, because there is a portable shelter there that I want to bring with me. Wow, this guy's got, a, this gal's got a bunch of levels. Let's give her some, um, take her health up some and melee all the way up there. Okay. So the trick of getting, of doing a clustered server on Aberration is getting to basically finding either drops or the obelisks. I mean, the obelisks are all on the surface and they are a big risk thing to get to. So that's very difficult. Um, you know, so we're not really using the ones on the surface. You got to find drops and you got to wait for them or go off and find them. And the other problem with that is that if you're going to a drop, you're probably doing it on the mount because if you're on foot on aberration, you're probably going to die. And that means you got to upload your mount every time because you don't want to leave it there. But if you do that, you can't get them back. That's like uh, right now, uploading dinos on a clustered server from aberration is a one way ticket. So it's given me an incentive for the tech tier. I want the tech transmitter, which is basically a obelisk or, you know, it's a, it's a terminal. Whoa, missed that one. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> talking and doing. It's a terminal that you can place anywhere you want. And so that has now become a goal of mine. I want the tech transmitter or the tech terminal or whatever it's called. I want to be able to plop down terminals in my bases, especially for aberration, because there's no good obelisk to build by here. The, the, I don't think buildings even last on the surface. So I want to do that. So I finally got a reason uh, for the tech tier. So I have to, I think I have to defeat the beta dragon for that. And that I believe is on the island. So another good reason to get a foothold on the island. We're gonna do that. Anyway, I'm gonna get over to my cliff platform base because that is where drops are more likely to come. There's a couple that come near there. So I'm gonna go there, over there and we've started calling it waiting for the bus. <laughs> waiting for those drops to come, like waiting for a slow bus line to show up. So anyway, I'm gonna get over there and then I'm gonna get myself to Ragnarok is we're going to pick up a shelter I built already uh, rather than me trying to build a whole new one right now and we're going to grab that and we're going to take it to the island so stay tuned I'll bring you back at one of those points along the way well I didn't quite make it to the cliff platform base because I see a drop here along the way so I'm going to go ahead and upload this Havoc, which is the name for the females of my clone army of Ravagers. And having Ravagers over at uh, the island, not a bad thing. How much time do I got? Not much. We got to take everything off of here, which is not much, but we need the saddle. Um, so yeah, having some Ravagers over at the island, it won't be a bad thing and I can make as many as I want but I don't want to have to upload every time I do this because <laughs> that's a lot of breeding. Um, although it's not the end of the world, but let's go. Let's go to Ragnarok first. There we go. We're on our way. I'll meet you over there. All right, so now that I'm tribed up here in Ragnarok, I can just spawn in. So let's go over to Monkeyheim, my main base on Ragnarok in the biome that's actually named after my home. So very cool. 
I love getting to see this every time. And let me just give it a minute for me to pop up out of the ground. Okay, up out of the ground, back at Monkeyheim, and over here in my backyard. Glad I still got my glider. I love having a glider and all these other cool things on the other map, combining all the things we have on each all together. But if I can just get down there. <laughs> here. Okay, land on my Rex. I've got this thing. It's just a little prototype small shelter that I made to plop down somewhere. And so far I haven't plopped it down anywhere. And it's got fireplaces and it's got air conditioners. I don't think we'll need the fireplaces over by the green obelisk. It stays pretty hot there. So maybe we'll just leave those behind and just take the air conditioners. Got a second level up here for storage and smithies and stuff. I do have a generator in here, um, but I'm gonna use the S plus demo gun and take this part and pack it into an obelisk, I believe, and take it with us. And we're gonna go set it up by the Green Obby as a community center over by um, the Green Obelisk on the island. So I'm gonna take a little time and I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna meet you when I'm ready to go over there. I'm gonna build some storage and some smithies and a few things that are missing from here. You can always add them later. Um, but yeah, then we'll have a safe place right next to a terminal, which would be awesome. So I will see you soon. All right, I got it all taken apart and loaded up on Bro and Sis. These were the pair of bears I took over when Beefun and Kimmy and I made the chalet up in the Murder Murder Snow. When we first conquered the Murder Murder Snow, we made a cozy little place out of it. And these guys went up and they took a bunch of pieces of the chalet with them. So it's fitting that I would use them again in order to uh, move a portable shelter. So I, I got to figure out where I'm going to take these guys. I could just go to a drop. I saw like a pink drop right over this way. But a couple things is that I don't know how many slots there are uh, in a terminal. I haven't really gone up against that yet. And also with all the things I have to upload on these guys, this one... And this one, I want to be able to take my time and get everything up in there and not uh, face the drop expiring and not having time to get stuff up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think uh, rather than use that drop there, I mean, I'll go over there and I'll check it out. But I was thinking I'd take these guys all the way over to the green obelisk. <laughs> Come on, sis. We can do this. Um, but... The thing with uploading dinos here on Ragnarok is that we can get them back. It's not a one-way trip at all. So I don't have to worry about that. Stuff can go back and forth between Ragnarok and the island. No problem. Ooh, there's a bunch of beavers down here. Well, I thought I'd go ahead and check this out anyway. And, oh, it's almost gone. And stuff is happening. Who's fighting who? Oh, someone's fighting the beavers. Oh, it's a stupid raptor. Yeah, I'm not going to get involved because 
I think these beavers are going to be able to take care of themselves. Anyway, let's just look at this and see how much stuff. So it doesn't say actually how many slots I get. I don't know if I can keep adding to it or not, what the limit is. Uh, it's pretty interesting. And you can see I've already got some guys uploaded here. I've got a griffin, which is awesome. Those couple ravagers. So anyway, uh, I won't have time here. So I'm going to keep making my way over to the green obby. We should be able to do that just fine on my two good bears. So I will see you over there. And I totally misspoke when I said I was going to the green obelisk over here on Ragnarok. I was actually meant the blue one, which is much closer than the green one. So over here is Cool Nerd's Keep. Awesome little castle thing he's been working on since the beginning of Ragnarok. Over there is the closest thing. I've actually spawned in his bed a couple times now in order to get over to this obelisk. It looks like some folks were accumulating some stuff. Getting ready for a boss fight is what that looks like to me. Of course, we just messed it up because we raised the difficulty. Come here. We raised the difficulty of Ragnarok to six max level 180. It has been five just to match the other server so it wouldn't be lower. But... I guess that would raise the boss difficulty and now they need to go back and get uh, higher level dinos. I don't know. Maybe those would be fine. We'll see. It looks like someone's got a raft here. Um, the other reason I wanted to bring the bears too is they're about to get a TLC patch too. So we'll have these guys with us to see what that brings with it. That's just coming this Saturday. So just a couple days from now. That's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see how much... I can get uploaded here and uh, I'll let you know when I'm done. And it can do whole stacks of things. That's good. All new to me. I know for a lot of folks, they've been doing this forever to the point of like coming up with all kinds of exploits with it and everything, but brand new stuff in ARC for me. So all very exciting. Okay, I have found a maximum. So the number of slots, we got six times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 50 slots total is how much you can put in here. You will see that we did increase the, the expiration time. It was set, I don't remember what the default is, but I set it basically to a year <laughs> in seconds. It doesn't work out exactly right, but it's pretty close. Uh, this is the number of hours, 8,735. So we didn't see any point for us to have an expiration. So I took it all off. I do have some junk in here I could get rid of, um, but I think I'm good as far as that. Let's see if I take their saddles. If I can still move. If I can, then I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm pretty slow. What we could do is just get rid of a little junk in here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and upload these guys. So, sis, go on over. Except. And bro, you too. I'll meet you there. All right. I'm just going to mess with this for another second. Um, no re no reason to have some meat in here and so on. Uh, see in a sec. Okay, I'm much better off now. Let's go over. We're gonna travel to another server. We're gonna go to the island. Here we go. Alrighty, here we go. And this time I actually have some beds that I can spawn to. So we've started the tribe. So over here is the community center by the red obelisk. Someone's got an island shack over here. I went up to the, I think it's the blue obelisk here. Yes. Uh, and I put some sleeping bags down because I also want to build a community center mining outpost 
up there, which would be very cool, and upload metal into the terminals, which would be really cool. Over here, I put down some sleeping bags. This is where we're going. And this actually is where I'd like to make a little shelter for myself. I have a little base near the green obelisk. I haven't lived around here for a long time. My very first series of arc, I lived over here. The very last one on the island, I was over here. I've also lived here and here and uh, here, <laughs> but never really over here. So I thought I'd do that this time. It looks like Legion is up on the mountain. Uh, so that's cool. So let's, anyway, talking, talking, let's spawn over there. It looks like it's foggy on the island. This looks like a little vignette, but it's actually real time, I found, whether it's day or night or what the weather is. So hopefully all that stuff comes with me. I've heard that sometimes this fails, but so far it's been 100% for me. I shouldn't say that. Knock on the fake wood of my desk. <laughs> And it always trips me out. It says stuff removed, yet um, I have it with me when I get there. So I'm not sure what it is implying by that. But here we are. A nice... Whoa. Stuff still loading in. Oh, and it looks like I have DC'd. But at least I got there. <laughs> so hopefully everything's good. I got to restart and I'll meet you back there. All right, I'm back. It seems like everything is all good. Got the inventory that I had on me. I'm going to give it a moment to load in this time. But hopefully since I didn't transfer, it's cool. Future home of the Green Obby CC Community Center. And there is the Green Obelisk. <laughs> Can't see a whole lot right now. Because it's so foggy. But the little path over to it, just over here somewhere. Okay, it's got to go around a little bit more. So this is a nice, pretty safe spot. That pretty, comma, safe spot. Hopefully very safe. Um, I know there's bad stuff down here sometimes. Where we should be able to fortify. And then be real close. Getting in here. I guess I'll just go down here. Been a while. In the big TLC update in the patch notes, they had a thing about having an I and I to disable fog. We are definitely going to do that. Oh, looks like someone's got some megatheriums here already. Getting ready for the brood mother. Or you are fast moving guy. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'm not the first pioneer here. I'm going to go ahead and get my bears, maybe my griffin, and download a bunch of that stuff. That's not going to be very exciting. So I'm going to just go ahead and do it. And then I'll meet you when I'm about ready. Ooh, there's a bear dropping on me. And I'm about ready to put this whole thing together. Another bear dropping on me. <laughs> we'll get the griffin in a minute. And we got ravagers here too. I'll get them all downloaded uh, in due time. All right. Time to get some data. I guess I can just do this. What happens? Doesn't work. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of downloading. Oh, and there's a tickle chicken blocking our way already. I think these guys can take it on. Levels it. We we want it. No, we don't. Uh oh, two tickle chickens. No fair. Got back up in the bushes. He's got the high ground. All right. Not a problem. Come on, man. Okay, now that it's not so foggy, you can see a little bit better. There's the obelisk. 
there's the path to it through that little gorge. And then up here on this fairly sheltered spot, I'm going to put up that shelter. And then later on, we can put a fence around the edge here. And then folks will be able to like keep their dinos in here and stuff too. But hopefully that will be a good start for a little shelter by the obelisk there. I'm going to put it together uh, real quick. I also want to show you where I want to build the base near here. It's a pretty well-known spot, but since it's getting dark, I'm just going to go ahead and put this prefab together, and then I'll bring you back at the end. And the light changes so quick. Yeah, it does. Mm. All right, there it is. For better or worse, it is all set up. And where there was nothing, we now have a community center. So... That's awesome. It's already being put to use. Malkuth. Hey, Malkuth, what's up? Not much, man. How you doing? And Bison. What's up, Bison? Hey. Bison is from Hungary, which is amazing. So they've already moved in, and I'm sure many other people will too. We're busy tribing people up and stuff. It's, you know, it's relatively small, but just enough for people to spawn in. We got a bunch of beds up there. Three ugly beds hiding under one pretty bed. So folks can spawn straight in here and then just go right over there to download stuff from the obelisk. So that's cool. And we got all the basic amenities. We've got uh, we got a, a, a grill and refrigerators and plenty of storage and some nice chairs to kind of hang out and watch people uh, downloading stuff and uploading stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to hang out there and then up here we've got a little crafting station fabricator generator smithy forges all that kind of stuff oh i forgot to put i forgot to put a ceiling back wondering why i had a extra ceiling there we go let's put that back and then up top here and just for all the iron miners, everybody watching this video, if you're on the server, this is for everybody here. So feel free to customize it and do what you think needs to be done. If you want to claim one of the crafting stations as storage and put your name on it, do that. If you want to organize storage for everybody, you know, label them for wood and stone and everything, go ahead and do that. And, you know, this place won't be big enough to serve everybody the whole time. So... We may build a, like a little village of stuff here and kind of put some nice fences up to enclose the animals in here and stuff. But thanks to Bison and Malkuth, we've already got a collection of critters here. So things are coming together pretty quick. I'm getting a little bit of stutter, but oh well. And guess what? I've got a griffin on the island. How cool is that? <laughs> so I love mixing it up with all the animals here. We can get a good look at the little community center. See the awnings over the window. I'm glad I finally found a use for that thing. I built that a long time ago to put down somewhere and uh but I didn't know where. <laughs> so <laughs> here it goes. Alright, so I think we're just about done with this video. Before we sign out, let's just take a little flight on the island with the griffin and it rains here. Malkuth was on the other day, and he's like, what's this water falling from the sky? <laughs> and yes, was, it's weird. Yeah, and I was like, what's sky? What's this word called sky? We've been on aberration so long, living in our little cave, that uh, it's so strange to have rain and sunlight and clouds and stuff. It's pretty nice. 
So right up here, I just wanted to show you guys that this is the spot I'm claiming to put a little base right here. So out of render from the community center, but close enough that that the green obelisk is right there within range. Nice little pathway right here in order to walk things up and down. So yeah, just so I don't clutter up the community center with all my personal dinos and stuff, I'm going to base out of right there. And it's a real pretty spot too. I don't know why the game's stuttering, but I'll stop mentioning it because uh, I'm sure that will get cleared up. But anyway, this is Monkey Puzzle. And we have entered the island again. Everybody's doing it. I'm sure that uh, folks are going to be coming in here pretty quickly. And now that I want transmitters, I've got a reason to do the boss fight. So I'm going to start from the beginning, I think, with that. I'm going to start taming some Rexes, looking for 180s, which is as high as we go up here, and then starting to breed them and kind of enter in the whole boss thing. I think the next thing I want to build is a community center up on the blue obelisk. So we'll have a source of lots of metal, because I hear you need a lot of metal, a lot of bullets for the boss fights. So that will be part of the thing, too. All right, everyone. With that, I am still Monkey Puzzle. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. And now we just need to celebrate, guys. Woohoo! We have established ourselves on the island. Maybe I can shoot these guys. <laughs> yeah. Wee All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. I can I'm trying to shoot you guys, but it won't let me. <laughs> it switches back. No, it goes right through. <laughs> no, I was trying to shoot the viewers, but it switches my mode. <laughs> Bye, everybody.